There are seemingly two concrete rules to killing powerful devils in Black Clover. One, fall to forbidden magic and become arcane. Or two, ascend to holiness and become Saint Stage. But Mario Leona and her Hellfire Incarnate has seemingly broke this system. You might be quite confused. And no, Mario Leona seemingly killing that ancient demon is not what broke this system. This actually comes from her bout with Lucifero and how Lucifero thinks of Mario Leona. Let's take a look at what Lucifero thinks of her. These humans can end me. As Lucifero thinks of these words, he thinks of the many people who have the ability to kill him. You get Asta, Yuami, Noct, and Sekra who are all arcane stage mages. There's also Zora, whose traps would become arcane against devils because he would just be reverting their arcane attacks back at them with double the power and speed. Then we have Saint Stage Yuno know here. But what else do we have? Mario Leona. What this means is that somehow, someway, Mario Leona has attained the ability to kill devils. I can not only prove to you that Mario Leona has broken the power system and ascended to the likes of Arcane or Saint Stage by creating a new branch of power class, or was she actually using a power class that we've known about for a while now? Let's get into that. So if you guys do enjoy this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe because I thought this was a pretty interesting theory. Also, I'm well more than halfway done with my light novel series coming out that Arthur DeBurrow and I are working on together, me doing the writing and him doing the art. So once that is done and there's a cover and maybe some art stuff, I'll be tweeting and posting stuff on the channel that has to do with that. So stay tuned for that. With that being said, let's get to the video. So, Mariona trained hard over the time skip, giving herself a new ability called Hellfire Incarnate and gave herself the ability of becoming a new Devil Slayer. I know that many comments of this video will be that Mariona was only thought of in that panel because Lucifero was only thinking of Yuno, not Mariona. That is flawed logic, as there are many panels of just Yuno going against Lucifero, so the fact that Lucifero specifically thought of both of them means that Mariona can kill higher ranked devils. So this is a confirmation that Lioness Mirio has attained a new ability never before seen in Black Clover, or maybe not. Mariolina's new ability may not actually be all that new. It is a new spell, of course, but the class of ability probably stems from a power set that we've known about for over 100 chapters, Ultimate Magic. Now, 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 I know. Mariolina's spell is never called Ultimate Magic, but at the very least, it has to be closely related. That I will prove to you, as the requirements for Ultimate Magic and Hellfire Incarnate are identical. So this theory will prove two things to you, that Mariolina's spell Hellfire Incarnate is either Ultimate Magic or something incredibly close, and also confirms that Ultimate Magic is the other pathway to killing mid-ranked devils and above. So essentially, Saint Stage, Arcane, or Ultimate Magic can kill devils. So buckle up. I think the best way to start with this is to explain the steps to attain Ultimate Magic and what it is, and then explain Mariana's steps to Hellfire Incarnate and what it does, and you will see that these are identical. Let's start with Ultimate Magic. We know that the pathway to Ultimate Magic begins with its first step, which is having a lot of mana or magical power. This is why Ultimate Magic is considered the esoteric art of the elves, because they were born with an incredible amount of magic power. Then it is stated by the Dryad that the humans can also use Ultimate Magic because of true magic, which grants them an enormous amount of magic power artificially. Here is what the Dryad says. By making free use of mana method in the Heart Kingdom, you acquired true magic that uses enormous amounts of natural mana. In other words, you can use more magic than you actually have. That means there's a chance that you'll be able to artificially use Ultimate Magic. The Dryad then adds further instructions to Ultimate Magic. Here, and Alicia, become acquainted with the origin of souls and physically draw closer to mana. This grants us the idea that when using Ultimate Magic, one is actually drawing physically closer to mana. Furthermore, Patri states that Ultimate Magic embodies all the magic of its caster. That makes it a unique, unrivaled spell for each individual, the essence of magic. We get a good look at these humans using Ultimate Magic in Luck, Gaja, and Mimosa, their magic essentially embodies the caster. Luck is a battle fiend, so his ultimate magic coats him in lightning, and it's called Lightning Battle Fiend. Essentially embodies who Luck is as a mage, he's just a, he's a fiend, that's really what he is. Same with Mimosa, who is coated in a plant magic, and is Princess Flower Utopia, and saves everyone's life in the area. The embodiment of her being a royal plant healer. Ultimate magic grants the ability of the mage to kill mid rank devils and above, I'll analyze this whole statement and theme of that chapter in a bit, but let's go back to Hellfire Incarnate and compare it to Ultimate Magic. Mariliana attained Hellfire Incarnate by bathing in the natural mana 
of lava in the Yoltem Volcano Grand Magic region. This made her far stronger. Now this isn't at all related to using true magic as the first step to ultimate magic, right? Well, you'd actually be wrong. Mariona is doing a very similar practice to true magic here. Remember that true magic comes from using runes, arrays, and mana method, which is just the harnessing of nature's mana to empower your own natural mana stores. That is a similar but stronger technique to mana zone, which takes the power of nature's mana in the area and empowers the caster. Mariona is then also bathing inside of this nature's mana pit of lava. We know she is doing this to push herself to the next level and to overcome such obstacles as she saw against Zagred when her magic could not affect him. Now you need to remember that it is not true magic that is the requirement for ultimate magic. It is simply just a lot of mana. It is literally stated this by the Dryad. This is why elves can do ultimate magic because they have a lot of mana. They do not use true mana. You had to think of it this way. How do you legally acquire a mansion? Well, you would need millions of dollars. How can you attain millions of dollars? Well, you could be a professional athlete, a best-selling author, or a crypto trader. That is the analogy for ultimate magic. There are multiple pathways to get to it, but as long as you get to high magic power, you can do it. Whether you're born with it as an elf, use true magic as a human, or use nature's mana like Mariliona. So the first step of Hellfire Incarnate directly matches that of ultimate magic. Let's do the second step. Here in Elysia, become acquainted with the origin of souls and physically draw closer to mana. The next step is to physically draw closer to mana. This is a somewhat vague statement, and we don't really get much expansion of this from the Heart Squad. But what we do get is confirmation that Mariliona is also following this path, as after she first transforms into Hellfire Incarnate, the Spade Rebel is amazed and in awe, and thinks to himself, it's as if she's become one with mana. Even later on, while she's using it to fight Lucifero, and her spell breaks her body down, a Dramalek says, maybe she got too close to mana. Two statements like this confirms that Mariliona is doing the second step of ultimate magic, drawing physically closer to mana. Now the final aspect to touch up on is the look of Hellfire compared to the other ultimate magic spells. Does Hellfire Incarnate embody Mariliona? Hell yes! Mariliona's personality and her very spirit is Hellfire Incarnate. This spell is the essence of her being, growing stronger and hotter the longer she fights. This is no different from Lux Battle Fiend or Mimosa's Flower Princess Utopia. And finally, ultimate magic is implied by the Dryad to be a way to kill off mid-rank or higher devils, and Hellfire Incarnate makes Lucifer believe that she has the ability to end him. I made that video on ultimate magic months ago, and even more information has come out, like I predicted, that confirms ultimate magic can kill devils, that ultimate magic is a different pathway to slaying devils rather than arcane or saint stage. Chapter 284 displays this subtly, without a direct statement of ultimate magic's practicality. But if you analyze the structure of the chapter, you can tell that Tabata was building up ultimate magic to be very useful in war against devils. Chapter 24 starts with the Dryad explaining what ultimate magic is the Heart Squad, and then we see the Heart Squad use true magic to decimate low ranked devils. Then the story flashes back to Dryad after showing mid ranked devils. With low level devils, if you use a ton of mana, you can mow them down even if you're not arcane stage. The problem is devils who are mid level and higher. Dryad's statement mirrors the chapter. They use true magic, a ton of mana, to mow down low ranks, but then the mid ranks show up, and that is an issue. You just can't use a ton of mana. That is why Luck activated ultimate magic. Then it shows Luck with his ultimate magic, and he thinks to himself, let's see how much my ultimate magic can do. This statement can only mean that Luck is testing out the devil slaying abilities of ultimate magic. Luck was already far stronger than mid-level devils, even before learning ultimate magic. He was able to fight a 50% Dark Disciple who was 10 times above stage 0, kill him with his true magic, and then counter his amped exploding life after. We have to remember that the plan was to get many people to stage 1, because stage 1s can keep up with the devils like Zagred, or how strong they thought that Magicula was because of her power scale based on what Laura thought when she fought her. So essentially, stage 1 to fight a devil roughly comparable to Zagred. But Laura Petchka did not anticipate the spade to get that much stronger over the time skip, as proved in this panel here. So what this means is that at the very least, Luck was fighting somebody close to Zagred in power, as confirmed by the levels of the stage system. As I said, Svenkin is a 50% Dark Disciple, the spade captain was a 5% spade captain, but he was stage 0, which would mean that Svenkin is over 10 times stronger than him. Now mid-ranked devils would be drastically weaker than Zagred, because the gap in power between ranks and devils is huge. Mid-rankers are stated to be way stronger than low rank. Even the weakest supreme rank devils dwarf the power of high rank Zagred. 
So what this confirms is that Luck was not testing his power against the mid-range devils. He was testing his ability to kill devils, and that he did. As these devils are never shown again, even the flash forward when it shows the other spirit guardians fighting mid-rank devils in the same spot, and even confirming that they've taken some of them out, with a mid-rank devil laying on the ground in front of them. Remember, the spirit guardians learned ultimate magic, so they would have the ability to kill mid-rank devils. If Luck could hold his own against Megicula, a supreme ranked devil from at least two higher gates than these mid-rankers, then it is asinine to believe he was testing his power level against them and not his ability to kill them. Furthermore, Gaj himself believed that ultimate magic could kill Megicula, so this means that Hellfire Incarnate matches the ability of ultimate magic. It gives you the ability to kill devils mid-rank and above. Remember that Marleona's whole point of training was to overcome the dimensional gap between devils and humans, because her fire magic would not affect Zagred's spell, so she wanted to overcome that, which is what ultimate magic was implied to do as stated by the Dryad. So we have Hellfire Incarnate matching each step of how to attain ultimate magic what ultimate magic looks like, and how ultimate magic actually acts. So yes, Lioness Mariliona has broken the power system by attaining her own form of ultimate magic without even knowing about it. With that being said, what did you think of this video? Let me know your thoughts down below. Do you agree with me that Mariliona can kill devils? I mean, you don't have to really agree with me because Lucifero stated himself, but what essentially this means, guys, is this confirms that ultimate magic can kill devils, even though it's kind of already implied heavily, and then it also confirms that Mariliana is either using ultimate magic or a very, very, very closely related version of ultimate magic. Please leave a like if you enjoyed, comment your thoughts down below, subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter, link down below. Hope you guys all have an amazing day. Plus...